the second season of Magical Record Pulum Muna Madoka Magical Girl. And the third season has been out for 2022, but no date on when it premieres sometime around April for spring. Uh, this anime came out August 1st, 21. To September 26, 2021, had eight episodes and it's finished airing. Based off the popular video game, it is drama, suspense, and the theme is psychological. Each episode's 20 minutes per episode is rated PG 13. Now let's get started into the review of this awesome anime. When they announced the second season of this anime, I was thrilled because when I watched the first season, um, I was kind of like off over cliffhanger because I kind of like on the edge of my seat of uh, what's happening against all these characters, especially the protagonist who's here, who's seen on screen. And one of the things I like about it, she kind of reminds you of the old characters from the first Mind of the World scene. And Uraho, I hope I pronounced that right. Um, I just like her determination of trying to find, like in the first season, trying to find her sister. And it's very rare for having an anime that's based originally on a game to adapt from game to anime medium. Especially in the first season where I feel like I, I thought I watched the first season of the anime, went back and watched the gameplay of it, of where it's originally based on the on the media of it and to say to have it completely replicate the entire storyline for this anime that was originally a game to an anime did a wonderful job of adaptation and for the second season i was really impressed too because you know uh it's not very it's rare for a game to completely be adapted to anime and get it right on the first try for the second for the first season now as for the second season you know it left off and we were introduced back into the character that we saw in the first season. And we introduced the original character from Madoka Radical Series to begin with. And we always have the lovely, the lovely Kiba. And when I'm in that, I mean, I'm talking to them. Uh, I want to eat that little thing in the sun. But you know, Kiba is Kiba. When you try to kill one, another one better take its place. So Kiba is here to say, could be little Kiba. But still, I mean, if, I, if you saw Kiba in front of you offering you a push, would you take it? Now, comment down below if you actually take Kiba's wish, because I don't really want to know, because I would not. I would eat that thing far away from me. But everyone has their choice, in this case, in the Minecraft series, why they take Kiba by his offer that they do. And sadly, I get it. You know, they want a wish to be fulfilled. And, you know, the other magical girl girls that we see, we see a lot of them, because it is a, a good, a fairly sized cast. And it does tie into the theme of drama, suspense, and psychological, so, you know. And you do see what the characters are kind of going through. And I feel like overall in the second season, it turned out really nice. Especially with the girls' on-screen chemistry, with their friendship and their relationship. I just think that it's really good to see how they kind of focus that shift on everything else. And I think overall that it just kind of focusing on, like, the um, adaptation and how, like, their quest is to try to find them and hack their sister. They try to find the other magic girls who are being called to one location and then, like, they're left by that trade. So I think that's kind of cool how to see, you know, them picking up from the storyline from season one to season two and seeing where the, all the characters from this big cast, how they drift off to their own um, type of trial, the place and obstacles and struggles. I think that's really good to tie in, especially with all this big mystery world to one. And since we're only given eight episodes, season three, well, the final season, is meant to, you know, tie it all together where we could see, you know, if the Murphagot has final sister or not. And you know, what's the little key rays role in it versus the big key rays role in this season. That's just if you're only given like eight episodes, which kind of leaves you on a big cliffhanger to begin with. But even have that now the final season, I think we have a lot in store for it, especially since it's coming out very soon. In the spring, I think a lot of our questions will be answered, hopefully. And I think that's one way to end off a series really well for Magic Girl, especially is the being based on a video game series. I think it works really well to try to keep us on our feet and don't let us team guessing but until then we just gotta wait and see but hopefully you know y'all check out season two um Minoko rising aside season two and then we just have to wait for season three to pop out and i'm very excited but comment down below what you do with keep it because keep it is not my favorite character he's never been and it irks me but definitely check out magic workout pluvia magic on Madokia, and let me know what you think and comment on your favorite character because i really love to know what y'all think about it but until then have a nice day and bye